Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video on KTFG and another Premier League predictions video here and is it match week 8 now? Match week 7, match week 8, match week 9? I'm not too sure, I mean of course last week uh, for obvious reasons the uh, matches were cancelled um, but here like uh, I'm not too sure, there's a 3, I'm not too sure on match week it is, there's still 3 more matches here postponed for this week sadly uh, one of which being Chelsea v Liverpool, Man United v Leeds also and I think the other match then it's Brighton v Crystal Palace. So I mean, it's it's not looking it's looking a lot less congested. Of course, a few of the most interesting fixtures sadly have been postponed. But I mean, we're gonna have to make work here. At least we are getting a bit of Premier League football this week. Yeah, it is what it is really. I said, look at the still there's a few decent matches in there definitely. So we're gonna make do. But before we do jump into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And ninety five percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So I mean, if you are a new viewer, what are you doing? Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. I mean, it's free, like, so if you do enjoy the content, make sure you do subscribe. And make sure you like the video as well. It really does help and support the channel. And make sure you click the bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video. So, enjoy today's Premier League prediction. Starting off then on Friday night, and it's the first of two fixtures actually in Friday night. The first one being Aston Villa v Southampton. Interesting match here, definitely. I mean, if I go back to last season, uh, Southampton played Aston Villa. Uh, Southampton won 1 0, and Dean Smith ended up getting sacked there. So, I mean, you know, I'm not saying that the history could repeat itself here, but I mean, I think there is definitely a big possibility. I mean, Look at Aston Villa's uh, recent form. I mean, a good uh, draw against Man City, but other than that, like, it's been pretty poor form this season. So, Hampton, the other side, is looking a bit inconsistent, definitely, but they're still getting the job done, definitely. So, I mean, so Hampton's still looking like they're in a good uh, place here. You know, I'm going to say here that Southampton can get a 1-0 win. You know, I'm not going to say history will repeat itself and Gerard will get sacked this time. I even mean, he might get sacked, but I still do think that Southampton can get the win here away at Villa Park. I'm going to say the only goal then of the game will be scored in the second half by James Ward-Price. And yeah, that'll be the only goal of the game, really. It could be a brilliant free kick, maybe a penalty. I mean, it's going to be a boring match, in my opinion. A match where Southampton will play good, definitely. But I do think Ward Price then from a set piece, either a free kick or a penalty, will score the only goal of the game, getting the Saints all three points in a 1 0 win away in Birmingham. So I have gone within Southampton for a 1 0 win against Aston Villa. And then the second um, Friday night match, it's Nottingham Forest versus Fulham. Interesting match again, definitely. I mean, Forest have actually been in awful form. I mean, I believe at the time of recording, uh, they're currently in the relegation zone. So, I mean, they're not looking good at the moment, but Fulham on the other side are looking brilliant. I mean, sure, lost last time. I 2 1 Tottenham isn't ideal, but I mean, look at the positives here, definitely. They've been putting up fights against these big teams. I mean, and they're winning the, against the smaller teams as well. So, Fulham at the moment they're in brilliant form. I tell you what, it's going to be an interesting match here, definitely, at the city ground here. But I'm going to say that Fulham I might just, uh, I mean, it's going to be an interesting match here, definitely. Fulham, Forest, who's going to win? I'm not too sure. Here's what I think is going to go down. I'm going to say it'll actually be a 2-1 lead for Fulham at the break. Alexander Mitrovic, I'm going to say, will score another two goals. I mean, the Serbian is currently in fi fine form at the moment. He is flying right now, so he is. So, I mean, it's going to be another brace here for Mitrovic, and he will have a 2-0 lead for Fulham after 20 minutes or so. And then I'm going to say then, right before half time. The young Welshman, Brennan Johnson, I can see him scoring a goal in the Premier League very soon. And, well, he's going to get this one here, in my opinion. So, I think Brennan Johnson then will get one back for Forrest at half time. Then in the second half, I'm going to say, early on, Jesse Lingard then will equalise for the Forrest. Um, I think with Lingard at the moment, he hasn't done much for Forrest. I mean, he's been on the bench a few times as well. So, whether he starts here or not is a doubt at the moment. But, I still do think in the second half, maybe even at half time, He'll get on and he will equalise in this match. So I'm going to say then I'll make it 2 2. And then I'm going to say then with about five or so minutes left, even less, I'm going to say that the Welshman, Don James, yes, Don James. Remember Don James? He is now at Fulham and well, I'm going to say he'll come off the bench and on his debut, 15 minutes or so in, after coming off the bench, he will score the winning goal in this match to get Fulham a 3 2 victory away in Nottingham. So I mean, Five goal thriller here in a Friday night football. It's going to be a very good match here, definitely, definitely, and um, definitely, definitely. I'm not too sure there, but I mean, I mean, look at Fulham. I think they definitely can win this match. They might struggle a bit in it, but I do think overall they still can get the win. So Fulham here, I'm going to say they win three two. Now we go on to the Saturday kickoff. So I think we've only got three Saturday matches this week. 
First one is Wolves v Manchester City. So, I mean, Man City, of course, once again, are Man City. They're in brilliant form, currently flying at the moment. Playing Borussia Dortmund as the, uh, and the, on this tonight as time of recording. So, I'm not too sure how they've done there yet, but we'll have to wait and see there. Wolves on the other side, they're looking very inconsistent. You know, I mean, they're still getting a few results here and there, but overall, they're still slipping up a lot as well. So, I mean, look at they still maybe can uh, challenge Man City for a wee bit in this match. But overall, I think it's going to be another walkover by Pep Guardiola's men. I'm going to say a 3-0 win here for Man City. 2-0 at the break, I'm going to say. Kevin De Bruyne, if you all remember last time De Bruyne played Wolves, he scored four goals in that match. So, I mean, that was definitely crazy there, so it was. So, I'm going to say he'll only get one here, but I'm sure he will take that one goal. Then I'm going to say he will assist then Erling Haaland. Then, of course, I have to say Erling Haaland will score, and he will double that lead before the break. Then in the second half, really, City once again will just play their possession based football. They'll just dominate. I can see Phil Foden then coming on and he will get the third goal. And well, that'll just seal the deal then. Getting City a brilliant win. So I'm going to say Man City went 3-0 to get all three goals and all three points away at Wolves here. So a 3-0 win then for Manchester City away from home. Next game then, it's Newcastle United versus Bournemouth. Interesting match, definitely. I mean, Newcastle are looking still pretty good at the moment. Bournemouth on the other side, uh, surprisingly enough, under caretaker Gary O'Neill, they actually have been getting a few solid results. So, I mean, maybe he could maybe uh, save Bournemouth's season, definitely. But we're going to have to see here at St. James's Park to see uh, what does happen. I'm going to say, though, that Newcastle should have this in the bag easily. It's going to be an easy routine, 2-0 victory here for the town. I can't really see Bournemouth competing too much in this match. I can just see Newcastle dominating. They'll be leading one at the break. I think Ryan Fraser will score on in the first ten minutes or so. Uh, Ryan Fraser at the moment he has been looking decent. He's been called back up to Scotland, so I mean let's just see here. I can definitely see Fraser scoring again in this one. And then in the second half then I'm gonna say whether in the about I'm not too sure how ten minutes into the second half or so. Something around that I'm gonna say Alexander Isaac then the Swedish chef striker, he will double the lead. And well, that'll just seal the deal. Getting Newcastle another three points on the board. So, I'm going to say Newcastle will beat Bournemouth 2-0. Where Eddie High, of course, will beat his former side. And now we go on then to the final Saturday match. It is Tottenham versus Leicester. Now, an interesting match, definitely. Of course, Tottenham are going to be obvious favourites. With Leicester currently in awful form at the moment. But Tottenham recently have just lost 2-0 away to Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. So, I mean, that's an awful result there, definitely, for Conte. He's going to really look for um a bounce back here, definitely, for his men. And I think they're going to get that, definitely. Against the struggling Leicester side, I think there should be no bother for Conte's men. And they should get an easy win here. I mean, I said last time that beat Fulham 3-1. It was very close to that. Richarlison's offside goal only cost me there. So... I'm going to go with another 3-1 victory here for Tottenham in this one. I'm going to say they'll lead 2-0 at the break. Another two goals by, you guessed it, Mr. Harry Kane himself. I can see him getting another brace in this one. And he'll make it 2-0 then before the break. With about then five or so minutes into the second half, there'll be an early um, uh, goal back for Leicester. I can see maybe Pats and Daka maybe bagging it in uh, after coming on at half time or something like that, definitely. So I'm going to say then Daka will get one back. And Leicester will have a bit of hope in the match before then. I'm going to say it was about 20 minutes ago. Uh, the Croatian Ivan Perisic. Yes, I can see Perisic then scoring a third goal, and that will just kill Leicester's hopes. And that will get uh, that will guarantee Tottenham all three points in this match. So Tottenham then, I think they should win 3 1 against Leicester. Now we go on then to our Sunday games. Anna, there's only two Sunday games this week. First one being Brentford versus Arsenal, and it's the London Derby, so it is at the Brentford Community Stadium. Now, an interesting match definitely here. Arsenal have had their uh, Europa League tie against PSV postponed as well. So, I mean, no Europa League match uh, the Thursday night. So, that could maybe work in their favour for this one. So, I mean, Arsenal looked it, I think. I mean, of course, they have been in dodgy form after that bad United defeat. Um, they only just about beat FC Zurich as well in their first Europa League match. So, they're going to really need a big bounce back here definitely against the Brentford side who are currently in flying form at the moment as well. So it's going to be actually a tight match here, definitely. But I do think Arsenal should win this one. I'm going to say they win 2-1 here, away from home. I'm going to say Brentford will have them at a one all draw here at the break. 1-1 one, uh, one, one at half time then. But Kai Osaka, I still do think, will open the scoring for uh, Arsenal. 
I think he's definitely going to score in this one, and he will get the first goal at about 10 or 11 minutes gone. Then I'm going to say then, with about 15 minutes after that goal, Kane Lewis Potter, the big uh, money signing from Hull City. He's got one assist so far this season. I'm going to say he'll score his first Premier League goal here in this match, and he will equalise them for Brentford before half time. Then I'm going to say then, with about maybe 20, 25, 30 minutes left in the match, uh, the ball's put in maybe a Martinelli, someone like that, and well. I'm going to say Gabriel Jesus then will score the second and that will ultimately win the game then for Arsenal. So, I mean, Arsenal should look the better side in this one. Brentford, I wouldn't be too surprised if they did uh, look pretty threatening in this match as well. But, I mean, I think they're definitely almost going to win this match. They almost get something out of this one. But, overall, I do think that Arsenal just about will have enough to get through it. So, I'm going to say then Arsenal will beat Brentford 2-1. And the final match then of this match week, it is Everton versus West Ham United. Interesting match definitely now. Of course, West Ham should be the favourites to win this one. But I mean, West Ham start of the season hasn't been overly that good, has it? Whereas Everton, I mean, sure it hasn't been great either. But they've drew a lot of games. I mean, at least they've, they've gone on a decent unbeaten run definitely. So I mean, I wouldn't be too surprised if they could get something out of this one. And with West Ham, of course, being away against Silkeborg in uh, Denmark, I mean, so... I mean, that could work in Everton's favour again. You know what? They've drew four in their past four Premier League matches. I'm going to say here that they'll draw their past five Premier League matches. Yes, I'm going to say it'll be a 1-1 one, one draw on this one at Goodison Park. I'm going to say that West Ham will have the lead of the break, though. I'm going to say with about half an hour gone, a corner is put in, and the German centre-back, Tylo Kyra, is going to rise up like a salmon, and he will nod it in past Pickford and put the hammers ahead in this one. Then I'm going to say with about 15 or 20 minutes ago, you know, West Ham just trying to fight for the victory. But one uh, laps in concentration then at the back, I'm going to say, will happen for West Ham. And while Alex Sawobi then, the Nigerian uh, midfielder slash winger, he will equalise then for Everton. And he will make a 1-1 one -one in this match. So, I mean, I think that's just going to be at one point the pace here for both the sides. West Ham will be fuming they couldn't get all three points. But Everton, once again, I think will be happy enough for to getting a point in this one. So Everton won, West Ham won. That is my prediction then for that match. And that ends today's Premier League predictions, everybody. I hope you did enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and turn on notifications. Thank you all for the thank you all for the support in the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you all once again in KCFG very, very soon.